I get. We just missed it. You're pretty good at cow math. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, y'all. That's like the next thing right now. And I, you have a lot of patience. This is crazy. Where the hub meets the spindle. Early morning, y'all. Not awake yet. 6.30, I'm going to load the heifers. And head to Lynchburg Livestock Market. It is cold. 18, 15, 18. <laughs> yeah. The driver is here. It's, at least it's frozen. Frozen mud again. Morning, ladies. Oh, somebody do this a little too tight. Okay. The world it's like stuck. Come on, girls. Come on. Wow. Okay. Oh, run, 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 run. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, hey. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, yeah. Lots of room in there. Lots of room. Hello. Temp keeps dropping. It went down to 50. It's frosty, I'll tell you that. Frosty and frozen. 14. Okay, let's see how low can we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were in a creek bottom. Mm, anyway, it's cold. If it's that degrees, then you know it feels like it's in the single digits. Oh, he said the wind's not blowing. <laughs> that helps a lot. Yeah. And I was talking about this. Like, we have, I mean, y'all can't even see me. We have, you know, what they stack call like a wet cold compared to like out west they say it's a dry cold so even our regular like uh, like 20 or 30 here is going to feel colder than colder out west or something like that because it's dry versus the high moisture i just probably butchered that but y'all know what i'm saying right anyway it's cold <laughs> that's all we got it i don't know snow here we just missed it we're well we're an hour 15 20 minutes from home Okay, all done, all did. I told you we had to 12,000 pounds. 12,000 pounds? I said we had, we well, coming up the road, I said we had 11 to 12,000. We had 1,100. 805. You're pretty good at this then. 
You're pretty good at cow math. Maybe not geometry. Everyone on the grade. He was gonna help. He was gonna help with geometry the other day. That didn't go very well. Number okay, two. good. Number two. Half one. All right. Okay, that's good. Now on to Bojangles for coffee and. I mean, one short half one. Biscuits. Left them. Eight forty-five, nine hundred, eight sixty-five, nine forty-five, nine ten, nine forty-nine, fifty-five. Number two steer, that was six steer. Weight five ninety. Okay. Eight seventy-five, eight fifty-five, nine sixty, eight oh five, seven ten. All right, they're ramping up here now too. We got here at a good time. There's nobody here now. There's like four, four trailers rolling in. We didn't have to wait. Good deal. All right, y'all, we're back. We're back. Austin's come out here to feed the calf. We're gonna go turn our two out in the field that's not so muddy, because the ground's gonna start thawing here in a minute. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Look, there's the mares, there's the geldings, and there's my boy. He's waiting. He's, he's waiting for his food. Hank said he's happy right here. <laughs> Rips that out. Peace out. I'm out of here. He's not running today, though. They worked hard yesterday. Well, Hank didn't work hard. Hank stayed here, but Rip worked hard. He did good. Everybody did good. We, um, we had our best jackpot ever as a family. The three of us, our three-man team, me and the kids, the kids and I, place first, which we've never done that before as a team. Then I was on a second place team and Wesley was on a third place team and Wesley got first in the roping. So, um, it was a good day y'all. It was a really good day. It was a, um, I just, I just talked, posted about this on my Facebook and Instagram, but it was a day with a high, high and a low, low. Um, we lost my uncle yesterday in Florida. Uncle Jim, my Aunt Noni and Uncle Jim, the ones that have the um, camper alongside of us at the river, he was diagnosed with a very rare, I call it a protein disease, amyloidosis, if I say it correctly, this past year, and um, there's no cure for it. Um, but as I said in my post this morning, he lived well, and he died well, and he's a believer, so he's with Jesus which is amazing for him, but sad for us right now. Um, so, uh, I'll be heading to Florida whenever that, sometime in the next couple weeks for that, to be with them. And um, so that's that, a bittersweet weekend. God's good though, he's so good. He's good, and I'm just so thankful that he was a believer, and we know where he is, and as believers, we know that we'll get to see him again. There's so much comfort in that. Can't imagine not having that peace and comfort. So anyway, that's that. All right, we got to get this day going. We got to get this week going. When you start off the week like this, it's like, okay, got to get back on track here. Happy puppy. Oh, Wesley's working so hard. He's working so hard in there. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Had a mess, a big fat mess. Lady. Lady says, my favorite place is right here in the sunshine. <laughs> right here in the sunshine. <laughs> Rocket's favorite thing to do is bark. Bark at Gus, right? Rocket. Hello, Lucky Seven. So I want to lick everybody. All right, y'all. Got some horses being rode. She just rode Hank. Worked up a leather, leather, lather sweat on him. Now she's gonna ride mine, and I'm gonna ride mine. He's gonna get a two for two for one today. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, y'all, but it is warm. It is 67 degrees. 
I don't I don't need this long sleeve shirt. I need a t-shirt like she's got on. It's warm. Can't believe it. She can't believe it. And it's kind of overcast. It's actually smoky over there. Evidently our neighbors tried to catch the hill on fire. I don't know. But um it's been some excitement over there. Hopefully, I guess it, I think it's contained. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. Well, it's there, but what I'm trying to say is it's warm. It's a beautiful day. We got everything else taken care of. It's already mid-afternoon, but um, feels good to get some horses work today. Yay! <laughs> and after we ride him, Rip, I'm going to go check on Lawrence. He is working on starting to work on replacing the spindles on the tractor but he has to do a bunch of like packing the barons and i don't know all that kind of stuff so he's got to do the, mo the majority of it he has to do under the barn getting that done and then getting them back on and i don't know that's like the next thing right now and i don't i don't know what's next after that i know we got a ton of fence that needs working on it's supposed to maybe rain some the next couple of days i don't know how much hopefully not much I really don't want to go back to a mud pit, but, um, anyway, we shall see. And just pretty as a peach. <laughs> Old Dottie here got into a patch of cuckleburrs, and I am trying to get them out of her. Got about a hundred out so far, I think. I mean, just... Oh, girl, what in the world? What did you do? Oh, man, they're everywhere. I'm gonna get them, though. Somebody got a little sweaty. <laughs> but, you gotta get a workout. When you got your winter hair, and it's 67 degrees, can't help but do a little sweating, huh, buddy? All right, little doc's next. Mm. Yeah, okay. He's a cribber. Have we told y'all that? <laughs> He's special. We've told y'all that. He is special. He has lots of special. Everybody's special. Everybody's special. That. Yes. See that one over there? Cowboy is just being a big dork. He just keeps picking on everybody. Look, him and Ben are like this all day long. Nitpick, nitpick, nitpicks. Rear up, kick, bite, run. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Huh? I think Rip's tired. I thought he was going to run off. He is going to roll, though. He's going to go roll and get nice and dirty, aren't you? Yeah, I know it's coming. Don't you bite him. Okay, here it goes. Find a good spot where you can get really muddy. That's actually not terrible. It's not a terrible spot. But it might be terrible. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter because he's soaking wet. Oh, my gosh. No, this is not going to be good at all. That's my fault. I should have put him up until he dried. I'm trying to give you a couple hours of freedom. Yeah. Little black dog, little black horse. She is so funny. <laughs> oh well, she gets her exercise. Good job, Clara. <laughs> Clara's getting to work out. I know, that's what I said. Clara. See, look at these two. I am telling you. Watch. I don't know if it's a love-hate relationship or what, but it's just constant. Give me that race on them. What's the race? That's the best, yeah. I got it? Yeah. I actually picked up the right one. That's amazing. All right. He has been out here working hard, tinkering. I know you're not tinkering, but it sounds like tinkering. You have a lot of patience, that's all I know. <laughs> Go 
got it all the way down there. He's already got one, the other one done, so. Got a grease, grease mess over here. Oh, that's what was in them? Well, that's good. Rather have them that way than not. Careful, wait. Watch your step. Watch your step. I can't believe it. I actually have shorts on, y'all. It feels like summer. Can you believe shorts in January? This is crazy. Our house is 80 degrees. <laughs> There's still coals in the fire. So I, um, I, um, what did I do? I lifted the screen door. I got the screen door and I lifted the bathroom window screen. Window and put the screen. Anyway, so we got some air flowing through because it's so hot in there. And I'm going to cook steaks tonight because we haven't had a good steak in a long time. And I have plenty of steaks in the freezer. So last night he's like, why are you cooking all this other stuff? Why don't you cook a steak? <laughs> it's like, okay, that's a good idea. So anyway, that gets it hotter in the kitchen. And um, anyway, it's warm, y'all. This isn't going to last. Well, it's going to stay in the 60s, I think. The next several days. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Ooh. More grease. The only problem with us now using our coffee, our delicious coffee, our old iron coffee, is that I'm not buying these containers <laughs> of Folgers anymore. What are we gonna do for containers around here? They come in handy. Hmm. So this whole thing here is like a process. Yeah. Well, it looks like you're massaging it, but I know you're trying I'm to get it in all the. Through the Pushing the grease up through the, we call it. In the burn. In watch, the, watch right there. You, you see a little thing of grease? Yeah. All right. See it grow? Yeah. And one of them come up okay, there. Okay, yeah, it's coming up. Tedious, tedious. They make a thing to pack them, put the burn in and put a little evil. Oh, of course they do. And of course we don't have one. <laughs> Oh well, I guess that works, huh? Just takes a little while. Hardly recognize you with your ball cap on. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's actually very satisfying. Two more. Farmer cleaning station. <laughs> Gas and a paintbrush. Or some kind of brush. <laughs> What's that thing wrong? Huh? Is that the spindle? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So this is the old hub. The other one obviously is new. So the other one was stripped. Tap, tap, tapping. Or beating. <laughs> so a little slippery. Okay. Where the hub meets the spindle. So I did there. What are those things called? What? That. Cotter key. Cotter key. Gosh, I knew that. That's a thick one. Mm, yeah.
Sealed PTE off. Did you know Mr. Cotter? No, he's way for my time. <laughs> he said Cotter pins a minute about Mr. Cotter. <sighs> okay, now you just got to put a little top on the cap. Is that what you call it? Yeah, I got to get the grease out of it. Mm. Now he's putting silicone. Does that help it stick? Keep water like, out of it. Oh, water out. Okay. Makes sense. Yes, yes. When I think of silicone, I think of the clear stuff. Okay. Get this tight and that's good. Maybe we can get it done tomorrow. Get it put on. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there it goes Rob. <laughs> okay, good deal. Uh, it might rain tonight. Okay, okay y'all, it's going down, throwing down, going down. Yeah, buddy. It's been a while, y'all. It has been too long is what it's been. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yippee-yay.